final question of the evening from Michael in Shelby Township. He says, I made an offer on a home in Shelby Township. During the application process, I lost my job because of COVID-19. I had to back out of the deal because my mortgage company told me that I, they could not prove, they could not approve my loan at this time, excuse me. The seller has demanded that I either close or forfeit the earnest money. I gave them $7,500. Am I going to lo lose my earnest money, my EMD? So real quick for those who are viewing, if you are viewing this into the future, we are um, recording this at the time of the coronavirus crisis, COVID-19. And uh, unfortunately I have just through the grapevine and then a couple, a couple of people that I know personally, um, uh, job loss has really thrown a monkey wrench into their home purchasing endeavors. And so uh, that I just, you know, I'm, First, I want to say I'm sorry, Michael, that that has happened to you, and uh, I'm interested in hearing the answer to this question as well. So, do I need to reiterate anything to clarify? Oh, well, he, he wants his he money says, back. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wants his money back because he can't close on the property. He can't get the mortgage because he lost his um, job, his job, which is really yep. unfortunate, and it's happening quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't even think, here's the thing. It's, it's never, you know, straightforward until I, you know, I got to see the document, but I'm yep. going to, I'm going to, there's two ways to answer this. Michael, if you made a, if you made an offer and you applied for the mortgage in the time frame that's required under the purchase agreement, and then you proceeded in good faith uh, to get your loan application approved, and then you lost your job, there's a seller contingency, like, uh, and I'd have to see the, pardon me, not seller, a buyer contingency for financing. So if you were denied or you can't uh, 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 become approved or you can't get this mortgage uh, in a timely fashion, usually it's 30, you know, the, the buyer is required to make an application usually with five to seven days or three days, depending how aggressive people are. Uh, make the mortgage application, number one, that's the first requirement. Number two, you gotta make it in good faith. And number three, you you know you have to do it within the time frame that's required usually it's 30 to 45 days to get the mortgage so there's this contingency if you can't get it one of the conditions usually of a mortgage is you have to be employed if you're not employed or you don't have a source of income that can support the debt that you're you know about to incur and guess what you can just say mm, you know what i don't i i want to invoke my contingency i can't get the financing in the time frame and i'm out i'm out so mm -hmm. you should get your money back Okay, the problem is going to be uh, again. It's a timing issue, and we'd have to we'd have to delve in a little bit further uh, on the documentation. Nobody should be giving you a hard time uh, with, with regards to returning the seventy five hundred dollars or whatever the earnest money. I think it was seventy five hundred. Mm -hmm. um, the people who are going to give you a hard time are three people. The seller, the seller's agent, and the you know the buyer's agent. Everybody wants a commission. The seller wants to close. Yep. So it's kind of weird that you know even though we're talking about COVID, the market actually is still very uh, active, and yeah. people are making offers like crazy. Um, so the seller might want to just get a better price or get out. You know, so you might want to talk to them about that. But uh, your agent's probably not going to be the best person to do that because your agent wants to get a commission. So that's when people call attorneys like, you know, real estate attorneys like myself to say, hey, pick up the phone. Uh, usually we, we write an email or a letter to the broker and we say, we're invoking paragraph three of the purchase agreement. This is the reason why uh, most of the time you will not have a problem. I mm -hmm. rarely do I have an issue. Usually it's just a, a email or a phone call. If it, if it's, if it's uh, justified, if it's real, if it's authentic, if it's valid, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. this is what we hear from Michael, but I can tell you, I hear other stories that when we call over to the broker, you know, the broker goes, did you know they did this? And did you know they did that? And sure, sure. So we look at the documentation first and hope that the people are telling us the truth. 